Hey everyone, this is Jess. I don't know how I'm gonna start these videos. Um, hey everyone, I am making this video for a few reasons. Mainly because creating content and making things is a main way that I can take back some control in my life. And when I'm grieving or when I'm having a hard time, usually making a photo or in this case, making a video is really helpful for me. I'm also making this video because I would love some support. Um, I would love some validation, some love, um, some shared experiences of success coming through something similar to this. Um, people to stand by me while I'm grieving. All good reasons to make this video. Here are some reasons I am not making this video. This video is not to hate on Sarah. I love her. We all love her and we all want what's best for her. Please do not leave any comments with anything bad to say about Sarah. They will be deleted and I will feel really bad. Please do not do that. This video is not a pity party. I am not really looking for sympathy. I am looking for strength. So please don't, um, please don't burden me with comments about feeling bad for me because I'm a strong person and I'm doing this. I'm looking for support and people to stand by me. Thank you all. Now to the actual video. <laughs> um, a week ago, today, last Saturday, a week ago today was by far the worst day that I've ever had. Um, we were on our way down to Austin, Texas for our wedding. That was supposed to be tomorrow, Monday. Um, and we had, we were a few days into the drive. We had both dogs with us. Everything was packed and ready to go. Um, the wedding was ready to go. Everything was paid for. People were about to travel. Um, and we woke up in the middle of the night because the dogs, um, the dogs woke us up for something. And I noticed that Sarah couldn't go back to sleep. And so I asked her if she wanted to talk about something, if she wanted to tell me something, if, if I could listen to her. And and, um, and she told me she didn't want to get married. And she told me that she wanted to make a different choice. So, um, in the Lowe's parking lot, I was, I lost a lot. I lost, I mean, oh, it's been a week, but like a week ago, I felt like I lost my entire world. I felt like I didn't have anything. Um, we called off the wedding. We were going to start IVF in a couple weeks. I had that scheduled and I was already taking medications and getting ready for that. Um, she called it off, which I think was really hard for her, obviously, because we were really happy. And I love her so much, and I know that she loves me as well. And um, 
she just, she wanted to make a different choice. So we called it off, drove to an airport. I, I flew to some family across the country to be with, to grieve with for a few days. Um, well, I tried to process what was happening. And then, then we, she drove back with the dogs to our, our house outside of Philadelphia and, um, and I came back and we spent three days together where we just enjoyed each other's company and we did all the things that we like to do. Um, We had a couple fun dates. I guess it's, it's just what I wanted to do. I just wanted to pretend that things were normal for a second. Yeah. And, um, and it was really hard. She left this morning. She left with a fan. And she's gonna go, um, she's gonna go her own way. Um, and, um, and I'm gonna be here for now with the dogs. Um, yeah. And obviously I'm grieving. Like I've never had a loss like this before. We were together for eight and a half years. We were a week away from getting married. Had two dogs. Our whole lives were intertwined. All of our friends were the same and everything was just so combined. And I think that's part of why she was really scared to to choose this earlier. Um, I don't I don't think she was planning to to leave, but So, for the first time in eight and a half years, it's just me. Yeah, just me. And um, I kind of have to figure it out for myself now. And I thought that this could be a first step for me. Um, I loved sharing content with you guys and I, like I said, I find it very therapeutic to share how I'm feeling and to hear your experiences. So if anyone has ever gone through something like this and um, come out the other side where it doesn't seem so like life shattering, um, I would love to hear about it. You can email me or um, or just leave a comment here, but I'm the one who's going to be running this channel from now on, so. I'd also love if you guys want to keep supporting the channel. I'm going to try and keep making videos. Um, I think that, at least right now, there'll be videos of my grief process just because it's so helpful for me to create content while I'm feeling so, so down. Um, yeah. I also wanted to put out there that I am seeing a therapist and I have good friends and good family around me and I have the dogs and I also am starting to take medication for depression and anxiety so I am trying to make smart choices and to get outside and walk as much as I can which is honestly like 15 miles a day I'm like really crushing it so I'm doing okay really hopeful that um, I'm really 
hopeful that this is just a season and that like Sarah and I like we have so much love for each other and like I committed to her fully years ago and uh, I'm definitely not ready for this and I'm not ready to live life without her and I Like, we split up, but I'm hoping that maybe down the line we'll be in each other's lives again. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please check back soon. I don't know when I'm going to make another one. It might be tomorrow. It might be next week. But um, your support is... Your support would be awesome. And... I just really appreciate anyone who's taken the time to watch this and who has let me, um, let me grieve like this, so. See you all next time.